Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my Tower of Fantasy videos. Today we'll be going over the new character called, I call her Lang, but her name is, um, if I remember correctly, Yin Yang or something. I forgot, I honestly forgot how to pronounce the character name, and I butcher names in this game. But to show you the character I'm talking about, this is her weapon right here. You know this weapon. <laughs> but, um... Today I'll be, you know, making a guide about the character. I did a pull video. The audio was not that good, but it was a pretty funny video. So I'm going to upload that first. Then I'm going to upload this one. I also got me a new outfit. I liked it on my character. And they also nerfed the boob sides on the characters too. If you haven't known already, well, now you do. So I got this outfit. I like the way it looked it with my character. And so that's what I end up getting. But I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the character in a bit after I show you a little bit of the character thing so that way when she does her discharge skill you can see the animation because some people like to play as the characters and see their animations me I don't personally care but anyhow to start this off we're gonna start this off with aerials the first aerial is when you jump into the air once or twice and then you plunge down directly using the fan causing it AOE at normal attack alright of splash damage so the next one is when you jump in the air Oops. the next one is when you jump in the air and you do a couple of autos which will summon a wave of wind and then they'll shoot four of those you can even click it once afterwards or twice and they'll shoot two more behind it but typically that final attack in the aerial combo is going to give you four of those little things that shoot kind of like little balls of like fire or whatever you want to call them that's the end of the auto aerial auto and this little wind thing right here, if it's smaller enemies, it can knock them up into the air too. So do remember that. You can shoot up to four to five or even six if you do it right. Um, the next aerial is when you jump in the air and you dodge backward, and it'll throw one of those. It'll throw one of those that'll come out super fast, and it'll be a dodge in mid air. Do it again. Dodge. Press this. And it still does the same thing. Even when it hits the ground, it has no type of effect. My bad, it does have an effect. It procs a flower field. I forgot all about that. When it does hit the ground or enemy, it procs a flower field. And I'm going to go into a little more depth about this character after I finish you show, showing you the whole moveset. Because I have it pulled up on Discord, if I'm not mistaken. So the next thing we're going to be doing is ground things. So this is a charge attack. You hold it down. You can show by this indication when it's done with all the flowers like spreading out or whatever. And it's very spread out and diverse. You can release it. And it'll do a nice charge attack that travels across the map, supping in enemies, pulling them in to do nice abnormal AOE damage. If you hold it for a short duration, like so, it's still going to have the same pull, the same effects, but it's going to do significantly less damage. And to show you what I'm talking about, I was fighting the enemy. If I tapped it, it did like 700 damage. If I hold it, and I'm talking about 700 damage per proc, and if I hold it, it did like 2,000, 3,000, a little bit over 3,000 per proc which may not seem like a lot of damage at first but it is depending on how you're playing the weapon in itself and i'll show you guys that in a bit so the next thing that i want to be going over besides the charge attack is this too this is essentially the same thing this is going to hit the ground also calls a flower proc and i bet you're like what the hell is these flower procs i'll be going over that in a little bit minute and if you do the combo in the air i mean that ground is going to do the same thing as the one in the air so essentially the same thing same concept um i think that's everything except for the all but i'm not going to cover the all yet and the reason why is because this is where this character gets very very complex which i have to pull up discord for this so discord go ahead and open up for me buddy my frame server we need to go to the other server where there's leaks at because this is where they're gonna show it so cool I have potential one of this character lane so for potential one which is the first copy that you get of the character we're not gonna cover those things because if you wanted to whale if you even have Chinese currency to whale then so be it but the simple fact of I'm pretty sure this weapon will eventually be coming out to global and that's when I'll do a second guide of it covering every little thing that I can think of um so it's gonna create these flowers I'm gonna call them e-flowers 
E-flowers will appear randomly around the target area and explode a random to the four second delay dealing area damage. So you do those little attacks or you do them little charge attacks or whatever. It's going to throw out that little thing. It's going to hit the ground or it's going to randomly appear and it's going to have a two to four second delay and it's going to explode doing abnormal area damage. So that's the first thing you got to know. So then you have something called gravity field. Gravity field is essentially when you use her alt or whatever, if I'm not mistaken. So when you use her alt, it's going to last for 15 seconds. It's going to give you a 15 sec. I mean, it's going to give you a 15% damage increase. It's also going to allow you to double jump four times in a row, and I'll show you guys that in a bit before it takes you out the area. And also, on top of that, your jumping ability is going to increase by 20%. Your stamina consumption is going to be by 50. It's going to reduce it, though. Not increase. It's going to reduce it. When you're inside the air, it's going to slow your falling speed. Uh, so, essentially, the best way to get back down on the ground, if you need to, is the plunge attack. Um, then, it's got a couple of other things, which is like Shadow Weave and Shoken or something. Basically, when you like moving around in the air or whatever. Um, but anyhow, when you hit inside of the area, it's going to generate E flowers. So she has three passives. One of the passives is going to allow you to generate a flower near the target at intervals every 1 to 1.5 seconds, which is going to be little flowers that does damage or whatever. Then she's going to have the E flowers inside the field. When they detonate, it kills any enemy inside there with less than 10% of health, which is really good when you're clumping up enemies and you're trying to burst them down it just immediately de delete anyone with 10 percent of their hp left which is really cool and then when it's in the gravity field and when you flash away from the target i mean it will flash you away from an enemy attack so if you're about to get hit and you feel the dodge it's okay because you get a second dodge i call this shit ultra instant straight from dragon ball z goku style you about to get hit? No, 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 no. You teleport away and you continue spamming, doing damage or combos, which is really good because it goes on a 10 second cooldown. If the thing is up for 15, or if you have a couple copies or whatever, you can get two. So basically, you can get two dodges for each all, or basically have a infinite dodge up, a second dodge up whenever you need to. And this is if like, you collect more copies. Sometimes you get a refund of the all I don't know if that's a glitch or a bug because the character is new or whatever but sometimes you'll get a refund all or whatever and then essentially you can get a couple more dodges in but each time you use this you should have two dodges for that 10 seconds and then another 10 seconds inside outside the field or whatever within the five second period while it's still up there's another thing you need to know about this character it has different gravity field effect. So if you run into it the same weapons, it's going to give you a buff depending on what you're using. These are different buffs right here. And if you're using fire weapons, it's going to buff the burning effects of those fire weapons. And then, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to deal more. It's going to deal 50% more shield damage to enemies using the fire weapons. And the buff increase for the fire is by five seconds if you're using thunder weapons. Um, when you're using the dodge, there's a 65% um, for a 65 chance the number of dodges will not be consumed. So if you're dodging in the air, there's essentially like a 65-50% to 50 chance of you just getting a whole refund for it. It will also cause the combo to be accompanied by a 300% damage range attack. Um, it's up to 3 layers, so it can stack all the way up to 900,000 extra range damage if you're running 2 thunder weapons, which is really cool. When paired with ice weapons, it's going to transform into an ice wind field, essentially. Uh, it's going to receive a 10 ice damage stat. And then on top of that, it's going to enter a state of frostbite for 15 seconds. During this period, ice weapons are going to have an increase of 20% damage during that gravity field wise up. And for physical weapons, the field is going to be transformed into physical wind field. And every time the target loses 1%, of his max HP in the field, you'll gain the corrosion health in the shield within three seconds, which can be stacked. So you can stack shields up after dealing damage to enemies with physical weapons. Very cool. And then if you're using no 
elemental if you're not using if you're not using any double elemental weapon like how I am you're going to get the different element weapon which is essentially just going to be a wind field that is just going to increase your overall damage by 15 percent so a lot of different buffs a lot of different ways you can play this character and it's really cool and I haven't tested out these other things except for the ice one which is the ice one it does increase my damage by a lot if you're running two ice weapons but you can run two thunder weapons I haven't tried that out that sounds very cool and flame weapon sounds really OP if you're using like shield and then you're using that one shotgun weapon so it sounds really cool so I had to just cover those really quickly and you're going to be proccing a lot of e-flowers this is essentially going to be your source of damage along with something else that I'm going to show you so sorry that that took so long but it was a lot to cover it's not something you could just get done and over with you just have to get through it and have to listen to it so essentially you can run any type of weapons you want with this character but I think the best one would be the thunder one or the physical one but you can run whatever you want or depending on how you want to play or depending on what type of boss you want to fight say if the weakness is frost you might just want to frost run all frost weapons or ice weapons and then mix it up with this abnormal weapon which essentially no matter what weapon you're running it's still going to give your weapons a buff or increase the damage or even physical is going to give you shields and health and things like that so whatever you want to use it's cool to use and me personally I don't use two of the um, same type I use two different types so I get the last buff that I listed so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is the discharge skill and then I'm also switch over to the characters so you can see what the discharge skill looks like so we're gonna go over here to imitation or whatever. I think that's how that's pronounced. We're gonna switch over to her skin, and then we're gonna prop. We're gonna pop. We're gonna pop right into where is that? Bygone Phasm. I recently did a recording, but it was the audio was echoing, so like I had to redo it. But it doesn't matter. The more levels of this I grind, the better. And the reason why is because I can get some of those black orbs that I got. Because if I'm not mistaken, if you look at the amount of black orbs I have, it's absolutely disgusting. And I'm trying to get a second copy of her. Just because out of all the characters so far, she's by far my favorite. So we're waiting for it to load. Load up, please, please, please. Alright. Cool. I don't care what level this is. I think I clicked blue to go back or something accidentally. But yeah, we're going to show you the guys the discharge skill. I'm going to switch over to the shield, and I'm going to show you the reason why I run these weapons in a bit too, and explain why I use them. Instead of using other little weapons I have. So right here, it's going to give you a lot of discharge right here in itself. You're going to dash three times. You're going to press the alt right here. You're going to do one more dash. Swing over here. And press the alt, and I got a full charge already. Now I can press right here, do a discharge skill animation, which now you guys can see. Then I'm going to press the alt. I'm going to do a couple dodges of proximity e flowers. And then, if I'm not mistaken, I can start spam charging. It's going to teleport me out the field, but I'm going to still be able to get this combo off. Now I need to mix it up, dodge back, and then I, don't, I think I got a refund. I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to gather them up, parry any incoming attacks, and get any, cool, we're going to dodge again, charge, 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 press the alt, which gets me back up full again, then we can press the R, animation is really cool, and then we can just do this, because we don't need to rock the alt again, so yeah, that's how you're essentially going to do that. Now let me switch back on my character because I like the way my character looks, which I have to come out of this. And while I'm coming out of it, I'll also explain why I did what I did. So the reason why I run the shield weapon is because you can get a lot of discharge back into getting your discharge skill, which allows me to proc my discharge skill really quickly. The reason why I run her weapon, which is the character you see on the screen, is because it allows me to pull in enemies and if they're finna do an attack on me it allows me to build up more damage on that weapon and it still shields me and it can give me health back the shield will also allow me to debuff the enemies and buff myself 
essentially buffing my damage and essentially weakening their defenses. On top of that, once I finally do get the discharge skill, it's going to clump all the enemies up together, guarantee, even if they're big or whatever. For bosses, I don't know how effective that is. I haven't really did much testing with that, but I usually hit it on them, but if they want to like charge out of it, there's not much I can do. And that's the thing. It's not going to be 100% effective against bosses. So, um, it's going to pull them in, and then I'm going to press my alt, which is the gravity field. And what it's going to do is allow me to proc a ton of E flowers and do a ton of charge attacks and doing a ton of damage in a cluster and bursting down enemies really quickly. And I'm going to switch over to my character. Because I like my character more. Although she is a really cool character to have. I do like her skin. Don't get me wrong at all. But I like my character skin. So that's just how it's going to be. But anyhow... That's the reason why you want to play that weapon like that. And then there's two different ways you're going to play it. I'm going to show you guys really quickly. You can play it um, ground or you can play it top. And then I also need to show off the weapon all in itself. So let's do that really quickly. So you're going to get one, two, three. This is going to be last and fourth jumps. It'll take you out the area and you can fall down. But it's going to push you back in the area. Plunge attack to get immediately down because you see it holds me in the air. You'll jump up here, and you can do a couple of autos, you can do a couple of aerials or whatever. And it's a really cool thing. So you can fight in the air, or you can fight on the ground. Fighting in the air will take more stamina, but it'll allow you to avoid enemies' attacks. And if you're having a real struggle on the ground, you're just trying to clear over some enemies or whatever, it allows you to do that while still doing decent damage and while avoiding a lot of conflict at the problem. And like I said, in between the auto, this right here will lift up enemies, smaller enemies, up into the air and stop them from essentially moving and allow you to deal more damage to them. So, oops, I accidentally clicked that. Let me go right back here and let me show you how to play her on the ground and in the air effectively without you having to worry about all those different things I'm talking about. Did I click the blue thing on accident again? All right. Hold on, let me click back. Yeah, go ahead and take me up there. Just waiting for it to load. My character guys have been quite long lately because of the fact that the characters they're making a lot more in depth or whatever for what I know at least. Which is not an issue because it allowed me to play the characters differently and have a lot more fun and a lot more options. Which is I'm, I'm all about. So I want to play this character this way. Well, at least I got this option to play them or whatever. Same thing with the weapon down here. I'm still running tank, which is essentially the buff I still want to get because it reduces damage or whatever. Allows me to aggro enemies if I need to because I like doing that inside of team fights. And still allow me to do damage and defend myself very well while clustering up if I need to. So, we're going to pop right here. This is how you're going to play the weapon on the ground. So, wait for these enemies to come right here. They're not the smartest type. Charge attack. Charge attack into the alt, which should be fairly smooth. One more. Back into this right here. And if you're wondering how I get two, it's because I have it max potential. Okay. Can I get it, please? I'm going to cluster them up. Press one of my gadgets. Which is going to do a lot more physical damage. And then you're going to hold it. And then you're just going to spam it. Just going to spam it. This is a lot of damage numbers. It's doing low damage, but it's doing damage. It's doing a lot of damage. As you can see, they're nearly almost dead. Let's charge this up. And we'll just hop right back here. Do it again. It will be up again. And you're just going to do a couple of charges afterwards. After doing the dodges, of course. And as you can see, it's doing a lot of damage. It even teleported me out the field when I was out to take damage. And now we'll do, just do a couple of autos to kill it. And it bursts down their shield really fast. Fast, and the reason why I burst down the shield really fast, if you, it, because it's getting hit by so many things at once that it just like 
just bursts it down. Even if they have a lot of shield, just bursts it down because of how many things is hitting that shield, which is what makes her burst down shields really quickly. Now, next thing I'm going to show you is how you want to play her in the air in case you don't want to fight on the ground for the sake of, well, I don't want to fight on the ground, or if you're having a struggle on the ground, if there's just a lot of enemies on the ground that's doing a lot of damage. I'm going to hop right here. I'm still going to have the discharge skill up, which is iframes, if you haven't figured it out. So, what we're going to do is let them gather it up. I don't do the discharge skill on my ice weapon because it doesn't do that much damage. So, what I'm going to do is suck them up over here, which is essentially going to give me a shield, too, in case they break the shield. So, I can still be able to live in case the damage is just that much. So, I'm going to group them up here with this, and then I'm going to press this, and then I'm going to do this. Right, which allow me to glide over it. It allows for really fast movement, and it throws them in the air. I got knocked out, got hit by something. I wasn't sure what it was. And you can do this, and this still, even this does quite a bit of damage. It lifts them up, throws them back down because of how you plant a weapon. And then we can press this right here. Now, when I say it debuffs or buffs me or whatever, I'm not 100% sure what that stuff is. But what I do know is that's what other people told me. So, I'm just going to have faith in people that play this game that's, you know, know how to read the language. Alright. Clump them up again. Throw this back out. I'm going to hold charge attacks. You're going to do autos, then charge attack. Autos, charge attacks. But you want to make sure you're doing the dodges with the attack. And I forgot to say that, it, you know, it marks the enemies, too, to make sure that their health gets below 10%. And let me show you just how that 10% works. Because they're pretty low right now, so I'm going to wait for the flower to come back up, the alt, so I can kill them with one of the flowers at 10%. And I think on the alt initial, it doesn't do any damage. Yeah, that's what I thought. It should kill them. They're at 10% health, right? Right, so he's dead. I don't know if he died from the prop. So, okay, the guy on the left hand side, he died from the proc, and the other guy, I think I killed him with a um auto attack. But yeah, I was looking for that proc to see how true it was, just to show you guys that it just killed him. Even he even had shield on, and it just killed him because of the fact he hit the ten percent threshold. But the other guy, I killed him with an auto. So yeah, that's how you can play the weapon in the air or on the ground, just in case you need to, right? But anyhow, let me hop up out of here. It's a really, really deep character. <laughs> one of my favorite weapons, anyhow. But the one thing that I want to say while I come at out of this is that like I said you can play it in the air you can play it in the ground and the way that I will rate this weapon as I see fit is it's S tier if you know how to play it if you know how to use it I feel like on mobile it's not going to be S tier because it'll be a lot harder trying to do what I'm trying to the combo that I'm trying to show you the way you play it it's going to be a lot harder on mobile I think and for that, I think overall it's an A because if you don't know how to do that combo, the weapon's going to seem kind of clunky and like it doesn't do that much damage. But even doing the air, air thing, that still does a significant amount of damage, just not the maximum amount of damage you could get. Not the mouse maximum amount of cluster and gathering of AoE that you could get if you did it the way that I showed you on the ground. Um, so the next thing that I want to say with the fact that it's S tier if you know how to do the full combo, A tier if you don't, um, if you don't know how to use the weapon at all, it's, like I said, it's going to seem bad, it's going to be like in a B tier, but like I said, the weapon is abnormal, which is a new element added to the game, what I'm seeing a lot of abnormal is, I don't know what it might be, but from what it looks like, it looks like the wind element, and for this specific wind element, is going to be buffing your other weapons this weapon you do not want to mix it with other main dps weapons because as you see this is a weapon that i had equipped it for 75 percent of the time essentially maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more but i had this weapon mostly on my hand i used the shield to stack up the discharge on the weapon so that way it can build up its discharge skill 
sometimes I might switch to the E to get that tank status to heal up a little bit but I don't really worry about that too much I don't use the discharge skill on it because it doesn't do a lot of damage and I just get up the discharge skill on the fan the after I get up the discharge skill I use the ult right after I never use them separately essentially and then I just burst them down and the weapon is that easy to use with the fact that you gotta do charge attacks make sure you do your dodges first so that way because your dodges are gonna give you the most damage so your dodges and then you attack or charge attack or whatever so yeah that's how you play the character that's how you play the weapon those are two different play styles those are the buffs that it give you everything that you need to know about the character as far as I know except for I don't know if if you plunge off a building right here and you hit the enemy if it does more plunge damage because you're further I'm gonna assume it does if it doesn't that's fine I'm not really worried about actually we can test it right here All right oh shit 30,000 so I think it does so let's plunge attack another enemy real quick 15,000 what happens if I do this he had less than 10% HP I think they're just dying that's what I mean it just procs E flowers and it just does damage to the enemies randomly and just kills them without you even doing nothing so if it's weak enemies you can just place that down and it just kills them but it does no initial damage on hit. But yeah, that's everything you need to know about the character. Um, if you guys did enjoy the guide, if you did like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It took me a very long time to put together this video. It took me a very long time to learn these different combos. A lot more in-depth character that i seen from other characters inside the game. And I really had fun making this guy. I really had fun testing out this character and playing this character. So far, it's my favorite weapon, and I will be saving up for it on Global. So, that's that. Glad that you guys stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.